hear me, I happen to have laryngitis, and I've had it for a couple of days. So I want to make sure you can hear me in the room. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. First of all, we are being taped live right now. Today is November 19th, 2015. It's the Board of Selectmen's meeting. Um, I would like to ask Mr. Troxell if he would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. as selected, effective November 20th, 2015. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Yes, there is discussion. Um, as you know, Nina, I did send you an email asking you to kindly put this at the end of the agenda because I knew it would be an emotional time for me. And I just want to make it clear for the record that you, in fact, did not even respond to that request. May I say something, ma'am? No, I'm going to read I, my statement. Thank you. Right. That is not the case. It absolutely is, and I have the email trail to prove it. But in any event, it has been an honor and pleasure to serve on the Board of Selectmen for eight years and as first selectman for the past six years. By working collaboratively with various boards, commissions, committees, and residents at large, we have accomplished so, so much. I am proud of the work we have done. <laughs> during the storms. As the leader of this community, I know how important it is to be party blind and have had the distinct honor of working with Board of Finance Chair Steve Ezzies and Vice Chair Jerry Sargent on budget and other town issues, Board of Education Chair Phil Schaefer and Vice Chair Ellen Yusinoff, although now I understand that has switched again, on facility and capital related projects, Planning and Zoning Chair Tom Fela and Vice Chair Jane Connolly on the new strategic plan and various 824 requests, Library Chair Amy Sanborn on employee transitions and space upgrades, Commission on Aging Chair Helen DeKaiser on senior issues and space upgrades, and Police Commission Chair Bill Brady and Vice Chair Beth Brownett on various police and facility related issues. We have an outstanding and I truly mean outstanding town staff, and it has been my pleasure to work alongside them. Together, we have been able to streamline processes and create efficiencies that have produced better service to the public while saving tax dollars. One focus, with the assistance of several employees, including those who have since retired, has been to expand access to town government through technology. During the past six years, we've updated the town website to provide new and better access to information, including the ability to view Board of Selectmen and other important meetings directly from the website, established online payment systems for parks and recreation, youth services, and the tax collection departments, and implemented a GIS system. In particular, I need to thank Town Administrator Tom Landry and Finance Director Rick Darling. The recession hit shortly after I joined the Board of Selectmen, and we had to make many, many difficult decisions to keep our taxes in check. At the same time, we increased funding for social services to address the expanding population of residents in need. We aggressively sought grants and created additional sinking funds to reduce the tax burden on residents. Town operating, operating budget increases were less than half of the previous administrations on average, and yes, for three out of six years, we presented town budgets, absent the Board of Education portion, that have had the impact of reducing the mill rate. I would not have been able to be so responsive to the needs of residents while handling all the other first selectman duties without the assistance of former admin Judy DeVito, former IT director Sharon Shatta, and current admin Randy Doreen. They have been and are 
the lifeblood of Town Hall. And I thank them for their friendship, support, and hard work on the town's behalf. And speaking of residents' needs, one of the things I will miss most is the interaction with people that I would otherwise not have had the opportunity to meet. I am often asked, don't you get tired of hearing complaints all day? Aren't you tired about hearing about dog poop and fallen trees and potholes and water runoff and all the other um, myriad of, of uh, questions that I get from residents? My answer has always been absolutely not. Okay, maybe sometimes I did get a lot of complaints. Um, but it is a big part of the job, and I derived great satisfaction in knowing that people felt that I was accessible, willing to listen, and help solve their problems. It was that constant interaction with residents that helped guide the issues that I brought forth to the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen establishes the policies that guide our town and should do the best to emulate the character of our community. I could not have had better partners for the past four years than David Muller and Dennis Tracy. We certainly did not agree on every issue, but we worked hard to find common ground and work in a respectful, nonpartisan manner. And I do also want to represent Dan Gilbert, who served on the board with us for two years as well. Together, we have tackled tough issues such as gun control, charter review, regionalization, lagging groundless growth and facility needs. I am truly touched by the number of people who have reached out to me since the election. Many of you, including a surprising number of Republicans, have asked me to stay on the board, particularly during this time of transition. However, after eight years of service to this town, I feel I've earned the right to do what's best for me. Having worked with Chris Spaulding so closely this past year, I can attest to his intelligence, capability, and sense of conviction. I strongly believe that he will be an outstanding replacement for me, and I know that he will work collaboratively with Dennis Tracy to keep Weston moving in the right direction. The incoming Board of Selectmen will have to grapple with many open <coughs> issues. I wish you the best of luck and the courage to tackle the tough stuff. Thank you. Um, I, I'd just like to say a few words. Um, it is a, a <clears throat> very bittersweet moment uh, to lose a colleague um, after all these years when we've worked so hard together. Um, and <clears throat> I just want everyone to know how hard uh, Gail has worked for the good of this town. Um, she is tenacious, she is directed, she's focused. And she's selfless in, in so many ways. And, and you would see her, you know, every day in the newspapers, but she was doing many, many more things that nobody saw. And so, um, you know, there's always time for change. Um, and this is a time for change, but um, it's, 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 it's hard to see those days gone. Um, I wish Gail the best of luck. Um, I'm sure she'll do great things for our town going forward and for all of us uh, sitting here today and everyone um, that she touches. So thank you for all you've done. Thank you, Dennis. I have to say a few words also, and that is that it's always difficult to, trans trans um, to make a transition in life and in office, and it is always going to be difficult. I've always wished you well. And I also just have to say that when you made a few requests in the last week, I asked you just to explain to me why, and you told me it was none of my business. So I, there's no harm in There's no time and place for this, please. Just move on and let her give her the opportunity to walk Yes, I will do that, but when I'm attacked on the camera, I will defend myself. I'm not. Having been attacked on camera, I felt I had to explain. Now, uh, that being enough for the discussion, as noted, I would like to call a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm obviously abstaining since I should not vote on myself. Okay. 
All right, any nays? No nay and one abstention. So the motion carries two to one in favor of accepting the resignation yeah. with no. two, two, um, two zero. Two zero. Two zero, excuse me. Sorry. Um, with Dennis Tracy, Anita Daniel voting aye, and Gail Weinstein abstaining. All right, we're going on to the next item on the agenda, which has to do with a discussion decision regarding the appointment of Chris Spalding as selectman to fill the vacancy left by Gail Weinstein effective November 20th for a term to expire November 7th, 2017. Do I have a motion? Uh, I move to appoint Chris Spalding as selectman to fill the vacancy left by Gail Weinstein. I Effect second. Effective okay. November 20th, 2015 for a term to expire uh, November 7, 2017. I second the motion. Okay, can we have some discussion here? Because first of all, in the paper, Nina, it said that- Excuse me, you have a motion, you have a second, and then I will call for a discussion. discussion correct, so now we're uh, up to discussion. Me. I'm running the meeting. I am the moderator of the meeting. <laughs> We have a motion. We have a second of the motion. Is there any discussion? Yes, there is discussion. Uh, first of all, in the paper, you had mentioned that you and Dennis had a discussion about this. Obviously, you're allowed a caucus, but I would hope that it would not be your practice to make decisions without including the third selectman in a public I don't setting. know what you're talking about, Dennis. When you're finished, let me know. That's what the paper said, so I'm just asking you to include the third selectman in your discussions going forward. I really don't know what you're talking about. With there being no further discussion, I would like to call the vote. All those in favor of appointing Chris to fill Gail's vacancy, effective tomorrow, say aye, please. Aye. 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 It is the vote pass. Motion passes unanimously. Going on to the next. <clears throat> regarding appointing Dennis Tracy as the acting first selectman in the absence of a first selectman, Nina Daniel, myself. I will make that motion to designate Dennis Tracy acting first selectman in my absence. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 No abstentions, no nays, the, path, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Okay, number five, discussion, decision regarding the acceptance of a gift, a very generous gift of $2,000 from Mr. and Mrs. Steinschneider to the West End Police Department. Thank you, Chief Trotsky. It's gonna seem boring compared to Okay, so uh, there's a $2,000 gift here. Um, we've had a gift in the past that was accepted. Uh, normally what I do with this money is we use it to purchase equipment that normally I would put in our budget, uh, but because of the gift, we don't have to put it in our budget, so it helps keep that out of the budget. Um, I discussed it with the police commission. Our, some of our uh, bulletproof vests are coming up on expired. They're, they're only good for five years. Um, so this will actually buy three vests that we won't have to put into the budget. So mm -hmm. that's what I'd like to do with the donation. On behalf of the selectmen, or the selectmen, including Chris as well, our thanks. Any questions, any discussion? Okay, so may I have a motion? I move to accept the gift of $2,000 from Mr. and Mrs. Steinschneider to the Western Police Department. Second, I second. Uh, any discussion? There being no discussion, I would like to call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Any abstentions? I don't think I heard you vote. Yeah. I said aye, but I think I'm a little bit invisible here. But do you commenting on the motion? Actually, Normally, the, the two selectmen 
make the motion Actually, and then the second. Actually, it's very distracting. You're, you're texting on your... Uh, I'm texting. I'm trying to find the quote. All right, so there is, it is you, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Judge. <coughs> Item number six, discussion, de decision regarding the approval of the, two, of the minutes of October 15, 2015, October 29, 2015, and going back February 23rd, 2015. Those are the meetings. Board of Selectmen minutes. No, I'm just <laughs> um, do I have a motion to approve those minutes? I will make that motion to approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion? I would just like to mention that I am was not on the board of selectmen at that time, so I will not be voting to approve these minutes. I would like to call on the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No nays and one abstention, and the motion passes by two to zero with Dennis Tracy and Gail Weinstein in favor and Nina Daniel abstaining. We need to add a motion at this time. There is an additional set of minutes that came to my attention today that were not part of the agenda. Those are the minutes that were done on election day. Again, I was not in that meeting, and we need to add that to the agenda so that it can be approved by the two members of the board who were at that meeting. May I have a motion to amend the agenda to include approval of the minutes of November 3rd, or to select the meeting, November 3rd, 2015? So moved. Second. Thank you for this first. Thank you for the motion. Thank you for the second. Is there any discussion? There being no discussion, I will call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I will abstain. So the motion. You can vote on adding the motion to You're right. the thing I on. Do you just that. can't vote on the minutes. I can do that. I can indeed add it. However, I know nothing about it until 4 o'clock this afternoon. I would be happy to add it to the agenda. So I will make that a unanimous aye. All of, we are all in favor of adding this to the agenda. Now we need to vote on approving those minutes. Do I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. And I will see. All those in favor? No, 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 we need discussion. Fine. Is there any discussion? There, there is discussion because the last line under discussion decision regarding tentative agreement says also the unit name is changed from APSNI to APSU. It's actually not the unit name. We actually, uh, the group actually changed union representation and it's AFSME, A-F-S-M-E, not A-P-S-C-E. I'm sorry, Randy, I didn't see this until okay. I just made the change. right before I came. So okay. if you can amend, amend that change yep. um, to reflect what the uh, bargaining unit change was accurately. Thank you. Thank you. With that correction, um, I'd like to call the vote on approving those minutes as amended. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I will abstain. The motion passes two to zero. Gail Steve and, De and Tracy in favor, Daniel abstaining. <clears throat> Number seven on the agenda. Discussion, decision regarding the resignation, myself, Nina Daniel, from the Commission on Aging, effective November 10th, 2015. Do I have a motion? So, so moved. moved. Oh, sorry. Gail's motion, I'll second. And Dennis will second. And I will, um, I think I can vote on that too. So I will. I would not vote on your own resignation. I didn't ask you. Is there a parliamentarian in the audience? Yes, I see one or two. A parliamentarian? Is, um, Woody, you're a, parla you're a member of the board of moderators, are you not?
What's the issue on being asked? I resigned effective the date of the elections for a selectman. I'm, I'm sorry, would you yeah. do that? Excuse me, I'm moderating this. She resigned. I know it's difficult. Okay. So what's the issue? Gail, is, Gail says that I must abstain. <laughs> Please have a seat. Yeah. Yes, you should abstain from your vote. Yes. We have three parliamentarians yes. here who also yes. should abstain. Yes. Okay. We have two saying that I should abstain from this vote. So I'm, I'm, I will abide by that opinion. Thank you. Fair enough. You may stay here if you like. No, okay. All right. So there is a motion and a second to approve our resignation from the Commission on Aging. There being no further discussion, I assume. I'd like to call the vote on that. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I abstain. The motion passes. The motion passes. Two in favor. Tracy and Weinstein and one abstention, Daniel. Number eight on the agenda. Discussion and decision regarding the resignation of Laura Schmidt from the Commission on Aging, effective December 31st, 2015. Do I have a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? There being no discussion, I'd like to call the vote. Those in favor of this motion, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. I no, so indeed, the motion passes unanimously. Now, number eight through 17 are very similar in their wording. I'm going to bring them together as one motion, but at first I will read what they are concerning. We, it's a list of reappointments. So again, it's items, actually it's items uh, nine, not eight. Eight was, eight was long. I will, excuse me. trying to do this in the interest of time. Here we go. So, the one, number eight, is discussion decision, number nine, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Margaret Anderson to the Commission on Aging for a term to expire December 31st, 2017. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? There being no discussion? I ask for a vote. Those in favor, aye. please indicate by saying aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Number 10, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Don Gomar to the Commission on Aging for a term to expire December 31st, 2017. Do I have a motion? So moved. And I second that. Any discussion? There being no further discussion, I call a vote. Those in favor of this motion, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye as well. That's unanimously passed. <coughs> Number 11, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Linda Roy to the Building Board of Appeals for a term to expire December 31st, 2020. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. There being no discussion, unless there is any, I call a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 If the vote, it passed unanimously. Next, item 12, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Robert Lamb to the Board of Ethics for a term to expire December 31st, 2017. Do I have a motion? So moved. You're on the second. Second. Is there any discussion? There no, being no further discussion. I call a vote. Those in favor of this motion, please indicate so. Aye. 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 And that passes unanimously. Item number 13. 
Discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Paula Savignon to the Board of Ethics for a term to expire December 31st, 2017. Do I have a motion? So moved. A second? Second. Is there any discussion? There being no discussion, I call a vote. Those in favor of this motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 It's it passes unanimously. 14, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Michael Bellicosa to the library board for a term to expire December 31st, 2019. May I have a motion? So moved. And may I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion? In that case, I call the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Number 15, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Lynn Langwa to the library board for a term to expire December 31st, 2019. May I have a motion? So moved. May I have a second? Second. Any discussion? In that case, I call the vote. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Number 16, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of, of Robert Yusinoff to the panel moderators for a term to expire December 31st, 2019. May I have a motion? So moved. May I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Sure. There being no discussion, I call the vote. All those in favor, please indicate so by saying aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Number 17, discussion decision regarding the reappointment of Laura Davidson to the Western Connecticut Convention and Visitors Bureau for a term to expire December 31st, 2018. May I have a motion? So moved. May I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, the only question I have is, have you spoken to Laura and gotten an update as to where we are with tourism and how it might impact West End? I would ask you the question, too, uh, as part of a transition, if you have any such information, would you forward it to me? I would be happy to, but Thank I have you. not spoken to her. I didn't know she was up for reappointment. Has she mentioned that there are any budget cuts in tourism? I have too? not found out anything from her. This okay. was forwarded to me as, an, as, as a reappointment coming from your administration. Not Is there any further discussion? There being no further discussion, I call the vote. Those in favor of this motion to reappoint Laura Davidson, please indicate so by saying aye. Aye. Those, I will abstain at this point. And that would be not because I am not in favor of this reappointment, but because I would like to meet Laura first. And I look forward to that. She's listening to this. Well, if you want, you can Excuse push, me. You can I push it off and her appointment's Excuse not me, up Gail. until the 31st. I'm going to move on now as the moderator. Uh, so, the vote is two in favor of this reappointment and one abstention. And those in favor are Tracy and Weinstein. The motion passes two to zero. Next one. Number 18, discussion decision regarding the approval of the 2016 schedule of selectmen's meetings. Is there a motion to approve the calendar of the schedule? So moved. I will second that motion. Is there any discussion? Have you forwarded it to Chris to look at it? Yeah, that was that was my question. Chris, have you seen the, the list? Do you want it, would it help you to take a look now or probably wouldn't uh, ring any bells? <laughs> I, I, I can go through the calendar, but I will do my best to make myself available for the calendar. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate Thank you. that. Um, all those in favor of these, uh, passing this motion regarding the schedule, please indicate so by saying aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. 19, discussion, decision regarding the approval of the 2016-17 budget review schedule. Do I have a motion? So moved. 
Oh, second. second. Oh, sorry. Right, go ahead. Second. second. Right, you're second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Yes, I wanted to make sure that you had forwarded this to the Board of Finance Chair and Vice Chair, Vice Chair to make sure that they can make the meetings that are on the <coughs> schedule as well as make sure that there are no conflicts with the Board of Education schedules. Gail, I, would, I really would appreciate it you're making these recommendations before right now. But thank you anyway. Well, if, this was, if this was, if this would have been part of the transition to have done that. In any case, at this point I'm going to call for a vote on the budget review schedule. All those in favor, please indicate so by saying aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously. Next, number 20. We have a number of property tax refunds. Is there a motion to approve any or all of the property tax refunds <laughs> in the amount of $5,142.26? I move that we approve the property tax refunds uh, in the amount of $5,142.26 as listed on the uh, November 19th agenda. Sorry, David. Yeah. <laughs> Second. All those, in, is there any discussion? All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. I think we're about done. There are just a few things I'd like to mention as part of the select for selectman's update. Due to scheduling conflicts for the rest of this year, it's limited. I'm moving the regular Board of Selectmen meeting of December 3rd to a special Board of Selectmen meeting of November 30th. And the regular Board of Selectmen meeting of December 17th to a special Board of Ed. Board of Select, ah, I'm coming up the Board of Ed, it's in my mouth. Board of Selectmen's meeting on December 22nd. Another thing I'd like to mention as an update is that I, I took office a week ago. You all are probably aware of that. And since taking office, I did notice that a few of the annual reports have not been turned in. So I'm asking those that have not been turned in, those departments who have not done that, please to get those to my office and to the clerk, town clerk's office. I believe she will need it too by December 15th. And lastly, with regard to the issue of first selectman salary, as many of you in the public may know, during the election campaign, I indicated that as your new first selectman, I would not accept a salary increase to $52,000, effective November 2015, which was approved at an earlier selectman's meeting by a specific motion and a vote by the Board of Selectmen. Many people will recall who were in that audience that that motion and vote was limited to the issue of the raise in the first selectman salary. As yet, the record of that Board of Selectmen's motion and vote has not been found, and it was not posted in any 2016 minutes of the Board of Selectmen on the town website, as required by the Freedom of Information Act. So I'm going to propose postpone any further discussion until the record has been found. Thank Nina, you very much. Nina, that, no, it is up for discussion. This is a meeting with three of us here. It's a board of selectmen. That was part of our budget discussions. And I am happy to look because I cannot believe that we did not have those meetings unless it was that additional February meeting uh, that we approved tonight. But we had the discussion at the board level. I remember distinctly Dennis made a motion to increase the salary to 60. I kind of jumped in even though I should not have mentioned anything saying I think that that's too high. Dennis changed that motion to 52,000. David seconded it. Went through the budget process in a legal and legitimate way. The Board of Finance then had a chance in the budget book to review it. They approved it unanimously and then town meeting also had a final opportunity to review that, ask any questions and, and approve that as well. So it did go legitimately. I do thank you. Can you tell me with the date of that meeting because <laughs> I no, I don't know the date of the Excuse me, I'm, 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 I'm going to say that in the but minutes I, posted on the town website, the motion by Dennis 
and seconded by David and voted on by the three of you did not appear in the minutes. I am dropping this now. I do not see the need to carry on with this discussion at this point. Dennis, Thank can you, you just so comment much. on whether you made that motion and you feel whether it was a legitimate motion? Oh yeah, well I'm, I made the motion. It was passed unanimously. It's certainly legitimate. I, I think the only question that's being raised is it, it, there seems to be a, a missing record somewhere. I haven't, I haven't looked for it myself, but uh, there's no doubt that that motion was made, that it was passed, that it was run by all of the appropriate members of the town government and, and uh, um, was included in the budget. So. And Dennis is correct about that. Not only was it brought up in a conversation, I was sitting in the audience. Dennis's comments were impeccable. The only question is that I have said that I am not going to accept that raise. I, before that becomes effective, I will indeed look for that vote, that motion, that vote in the record. And I have not been able to find it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Is there anything else to properly come before this board tonight? Yes, if you can just give us an update regarding the facilities. I know that at our last meeting we voted to forward a supplemental request to the Board of Finance, which um, I understand was removed at your request. If you want to do so, the next board is welcome to do so via a vote, um, but the first selectman does not have the ability to unanimously uh, change a vote that was uh, legally performed by a previous board. Could you so be more specific? What vote are you talking about? Uh, a vote to... Um, ask for a $7,000 supplemental appropriation for Brian Humes to do uh, a review of the police station as it currently sits as to what it would need to uh, meet some of its code requirements as well as let us know uh, what facilities would be left out of the equation if we just uh, did a renovation. Gail, that vote is not being rescinded. You ordered me to meet with or talk to the person during the consultation immediately. It was premature, I've been in office one week, and I decided that it would be better for the sake of the town that I took some time to review this with other members of the town hall, town hall and, and, and government that are going to be helping me make decisions going forward. My response was to do anything right now in one week's time was premature and that I was not going to meet with this person immediately, as you have suggested. No, I that does not overturn any vote by the Board of Selectmen. You are mischaracterizing it. Now, so I So, Tom, for the record, if you can make sure that's on the next Board of Finance meeting, I would appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much, Cam. And, Gail, I think your flowers are lovely. I hope you will enjoy them. And I thank you for being uh, what you have done in the last eight years. I appreciate your hard work, and I wish you well in the future. Well, thank you. Now, if I'm correct, we are finished here tonight, and I'd like a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you.